on this topic, we are reducing fractions. So we want to be able to reduce the number parts. So when they're giving us these fractions, you see the number parts right here. 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. So they did that here, 8 divided by 1, which is 8. Um, we have our fraction here. So we had v to the 4th over v to the 7th. We can cancel four of the v's in the numerator and four in the denominator, which means there's three left. So v cubed. And that's how we get our final answer, 8v cubed. So we're going to go ahead and show some examples. Um, we're going to start with dividing the numbers. 42 divided by 7 is 6. And then we have y to the 6 divided by y squared. We're going to cancel two of the y's. So we want to cancel these two. We're canceling two here. So there's four left. And we have y to the fourth. Now we are just doing one in the denominator. And anything divided by one is that whatever's in the numerator. So our answer is just going to be 6y to the fourth power. Okay, we'll do the next problem. Um, when we do the number parts, so I'm going to, I'm going to write both of the problems down like, or both parts here where we have the numbers and then the, the X uh, variables. So 28 and 20 are both divisible by four. So if we divide by four, so we're dividing by four and we're given, this one will be seven. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So right now we have 7 over 5. We can take away 1y. So, okay, let me explain what this means when you take 1 away. So y cubed is just y times y times y. So you can take one of them away. That's what I mean by that. So this goes to times 1, and this is y times y squared. So we'll have y squared in the denominator. When you times 7 by 1, you just get 7. So the answer is going to be 7 divided by. 5y squared. And that will be the end of the lesson.